Today we're doing a deep dive on gain staging in the Yamaha MG06X mixer. We'll cover everything from the pad switch to trim and pad workflows, maximizing your signal to noise ratio and getting your input sensitivity just right. By the end, you'll know how to set your levels to get the cleanest sound possible while preserving headroom. Now let's jump in. Gain staging is the process of setting each stage of your signal chain at the optimal level so you never overdrive your preamps, introduce noise, or hit the master output too hot. On a small analog mixer like the MG06X, you only get a few controls for your gain staging. So mastering them is critical to a clean mix. Here's the MG06X signal chain. First, your micro instrument goes into the combo jack here. Next, it flows down to your pad and filter switches, which I'll explain in a moment. Next, it hits your gain staging where you can trim or boost your gain. Then it hits your EQ controls and effects toggle switch until it finally hits the channel level control for the volume for the channel. It gets summed with this channel and the other channels into the master volume knob and then it goes out. So first you want to set your level at unity gain and that will be at zero. You see there's numbers on here, minus six plus 20 plus. So you'll see a little band right there for unity gain. So if I spin it back, you see now it's really quiet. So you want to push up your unit again until you just see this signal flicker. And if you go into the, you know, orange, you've gone a little too far as you can hear my voice is probably breaking up. If you're here and it's still way too loud, you can use this pad switch. So if I turn it up, it's too loud, it's too loud. Now it's too quiet. You can't even hear me, right? So this is a minus 26 dB pad. This is a filter, we'll cover that in a different video if we talk about EQs, but right now we're just talking about gain staging. The pad makes it a lot quieter. And the trim does too, and you can boost the, the preamp. So this is how you can dial in the exact level you want. You, you don't want to go past this kind of zero here. See, they put little arrows on it. And if you're talking really loud, right? And <laughs> see, I'm hitting into the orange on peaks, but that's okay. So you don't want to hit too far up. You definitely don't want to be hitting red all the way here or you'll get a really bad crackly distortion sound. ChatGPT has informed me that to optimize input sensitivity, you want to keep your trim as high as possible without clipping, as we just mentioned, and then only use the pad when necessary like when you're connecting external equipment or equipment that's coming in really hot. If your signal's coming in too hot, this is kind of like gives you some room, right? But you want headroom. That's what this is, headroom. This maximizes the internal gain structure of the mixer and gives you the best signal to noise ratio. What does that mean? There's less hiss on quiet passages. So if things are really quiet, you still, you don't hear that sss, the you want, you want the signal high and the noise low. There's always going to be noise in your signal, but you want the signal to noise ratio high so that you can clearly hear the instruments and vocals and you're not hearing a lot of <laughs> On a bigger, more advanced mixer with more features, each channel might have a little signal thing, but as you can see, you just get a little peak. Peak! I can't get it, but it lights up sometimes. So, yeah, you can see it right there. It lit, it lit up there. So each channel would have a little signal meter and this is how you obviously control the volume on the channel. On some you would have faders, but here you have knobs, which is a little bit of a downgrade, but that's why it's such a compact mixer. This is a balancing act. You, you don't want your channels too hot like right there, right? If, if you push it real hot, but then you use a pad, it's not great, right? You only want to use the pad when it's coming in hot. This balances it relative to the other channels. You'll see that channels three and four, five and six, channel two, have their own volume knobs. These would be faders on a big mixer. So you always want to watch this master level fader. You want to aim to hit the first top green or a little bit of amber like you saw right there. And that's, the, if you drive to red, you're clipping. So you, you want to drive it as high as possible. You don't want it as only one or two greens, right? You want it to be able to peak a little higher, right? But you don't want it all the way up hitting red, hitting clipping. So it's, a, it's all a balancing act between high enough signal to noise ratio and not so loud that you're going red. Right? That doesn't sound very good, right? So that's not what you want. So there you have it, your Yamaha MG06 gain staging pro tips. To summarize, first use trim and pad to set your preamp levels correctly. Next, optimize input sensitivity so that you get the maximum SNR or signal to noise ratio 
so that you don't have hiss, but you're not clipping. Next, read the meters and leave some headroom. This means you don't want the signal going too deep into orange and red spiking up clipping, but you don't want it too low on one bar or two only of green so that it's all hissy. Read those meters. You want to avoid clipping and hissing by balancing trim, pad, the level meter on the channel, and the overall level meter so that they're all working in harmony. If this helped you dial in your mix and you got value, please hit like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Let me know in the comments what you think about gain staging. How do you do your gain staging? I'd love to hear from you, and I'll see you in the next one.